Hey everyone, everything EP here. <clears throat> In today's video, we're back with a new video. Um, we're going we're going to be taking a look at the latest version of the Windows 10 Home Insider preview. I'm actually genuinely excited for this because it's supposed to be a huge, very like huge update. Um, and that's pro probably going to be a good thing. So. We're going to be taking a look at what's new in this new version of Windows 10, which is 2004. Um, that's what it's named, or 2H1, as some people know it. Um, so, the first thing you're going to notice is um, there's actually a new option in settings. If you go to um, accounts, sorry, I'm going to do this really fast so you don't, you guys don't see my email. Um, it's going to say require Windows Hello Sign in for Microsoft accounts. So um, it, what it does is it only allows Windows Hello to um, for Microsoft accounts on your computer, and that means that you won't see your password field anymore. You'll just see um, I, whether it's you'll just see your Windows Hello Sign and whether it's your um, fingerprint, fa uh, face recognition, or or just using a good old-fashioned PIN. Now, um, there's some more changes as well, and the biggest one being this, Cortana. And this is what Cortana is now. It's completely detached from the Windows interface itself. It's, it's in this new Windows, and it's in this new window. Um, and actually, I'm not going to sign in. Uh, give me a second, actually. I'll... So that was actually really fast, but I couldn't show you guys because it would um, it would expose my email. But this is what the new Cortana seems like. It's in beta right now, so um, and beta usually uh, comes for a long time. Like the Skype beta lasted for 18 months, and um, here it is. So you can either type to Cortana or voice her. Like so, we're gonna ask what the weather is in Toronto. Oh no, I don't think voice recognition is on. Anyways, um, we're just going to type, what is the weather in Toronto? Yeah. Um, and we're going to send it off to her. And this is, it's going to show me the current weather. Uh, we're going to X these prompts. And then we're, it'll show you here. And then you can do stuff like, if you still try, you can go like, open settings and we're gonna see it open settings which is pretty wicked to be honest now there is a new change for settings as well but for some reason it's not popping up on my computer so um yeah i don't know why it's not showing new settings but basically it has these cards on top of the thing and as you probably noticed they have new icon changes so you can see that alarms and clock has changed, calendar has changed, uh, calculator has changed too, feedback hub, groove music, mail. Um, I haven't updated Microsoft Edge, so that's not changed yet. Movies and TV, Microsoft Solitaire. Um, let's look for more photos, uh, tips, voice recorder, and weather. These are all apps, icons that have changed, and Windows Security as well. Windows Security has changed the icon. So these are all icons that have changed in this new Windows 10 release. Um, and yeah, so there's lots and lots of new cool features that are coming to Windows 10. Uh, and and you can also see here in settings, if you, if you noticed in the menu, there's literally nothing there about Cortana because all Cortana settings, every single one, has moved here um, into the Cortana app that's on Windows 10. Uh, and you can also minimize it, so if you just need Cortana quickly, just tap on her and she'll be ready. Um, and yeah, the, these, this looks really epic, this new version. I'm pretty sure they also have um, a thing. So you it, it's automatically set to classic search only your libraries in desktop, um, which I'm going to keep because uh, this computer is not all powerful. Um, it's actually really slow, so yeah. But yeah, this was the evaluation copy 
of Windows 10. I don't really know if there are any more features, but if you guys saw any features that I missed, please do let me know. And as always, this has been an Everything E video.